was going to this stall every day being like, please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> a lot of Easter eggs. Yeah. We love an Easter egg. Who most lame inspires you? Myself. <laughs> she emerged into the world of pop music through uh, one of the most globally, you know, like famous groups ever, Little Mix, and now pursuing a solo career. She's here right now to showcase her talent, music, strength, you know, bold opinions about the industry and everything else. Woo! Let's give it up for Jane! Go <laughs> me. You're welcome to Radio Disney. Oh, thank you. What an honor. It's a great, to, great to have you here. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Isn't your first time in Brazil, right? You've been here uh, before with the girls. Yes, once to Sao Paulo um, for the Women's Festival. Yeah. Our first and only time, and we fell in love with Brazil. Oh. Yeah. What What the, 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 the most, I mean, that caught your attention? You well, know? the fans are crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the best way. They're so loud. <laughs> I think because we wanted to come to Brazil for so many years, and then we finally got here, and we didn't realize just how many fans we had. Yeah. And it was so huge. And in the audience, everyone was like dressed as their favorites and different costumes of videos. And yeah, we were like, oh my gosh, like, you know, they were here all along. And it, must, it must be really uh, different from country to country, right? How you receive this love and yeah. how your song just like resonates to people. Yeah, and just culturally, it's interesting to see, you know, like what songs they prefer or yeah. stuff like that. Um, And yeah, so we left and we're like, oh, we have to come back. And now we're doing our own thing. Here yeah. I am. Yeah, <laughs> please, please. Uh, how do you feel this love right now in your solo career? I mean, because, well, before you were in a group, but now we were like, you know, it's like flying solo. Yes, it's it's very strange, but um, it's really, it's quite liberating. It's like, it's overwhelming, but in a, in a good way. Yeah. Um, Because it's always scary doing, you know, your own thing or having a big change and coming out of the band. But I feel like I really know what my sound is and who I am, like, as my own artist. Um, and Angel of My Dreams has been very well received. Yeah. So I'm very happy about that. So let's talk about this uh, yeah. subject right now. Because you've, you've used, like, a, a tease your fans for, for some time using your, your social, you know, yes. like showing videos and pictures. And everybody was like, oh, my God. <laughs> What yeah. is doing? <laughs> and now it's well, it's out now, officially out now. Yes. If you haven't seen, I really highly recommend you to Watch do it. so. Yeah. Because it's so beautiful. Tell us about this this new song. So Angel of My Dreams is my first solo single. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, the song is about my sort of love-hate relationship with the music industry, <laughs> which I've been a part of for a long time. Yeah. So yeah, I've got a lot to say about that. Um so yeah, I wanted the song to feel like this kind of a musical masterpiece a kind of love letter um, and the video you know tells that story too yeah. in my own sort of chaotic relentless way yeah you said that, <laughs> you said it was a a, a savage industry in, yeah. in which way what do you mean by um, that? in a lot of ways I think it's quite cutthroat quite um fickle mm -hmm. you know so you're kind of never safe i think in this kind of industry because there's always somebody else who will work just as hard as you will to take your spot sort of thing the basket um, in your, in yeah spotlight, and you right? know we're, we're all just pot pawns in the game i suppose to the powers that be yeah. um <laughs> so yeah there's I've had a lot of amazing experiences uh -huh. and, you know, some negative ones too. Like any job, I suppose, so... But yeah. uh, but I, I do believe that maybe in this industry must be a little bit rough. Well, everyone's watching with a magnifying That's glass, it. It's yeah. It's taking pictures and video. Yeah, and so it heightens that sort of, you know, that mm. feeling. And do, do you felt like uh, someone in the past that people wants you to do a certain type of music, a certain type of, you know, it's like genre and maybe this was not your truth, you know, something like that? Sometimes, yeah. I think, I mean, yeah, sometimes you have to sort of play the game or it's like if you do this song, then you'll get this or, um, you know, it's all quite political at times. But I will say, for me and the girls, we were very headstrong and mm -hmm. if we really believed in something, then we would push for that. But, um, yeah, yeah. Being, being a, a, a woman in this uh, industry, do you think that it's 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 hard uh, a little bit more? Like yeah, I think so. I think it's hard. I think for us, we always felt like the underdog as well because it's hard 
one being a woman, but two being in a girl band, mm -hmm. being taken seriously in that respect, which is weird. I think you have to fight for credibility. Weird. Totally. Yeah. yeah I mean. Um. But I do think it's getting better, like slowly but surely. And I think even for me, having this kind of break from being in the limelight for like a couple of years, uh -huh. I feel like the music industry has changed so much even in that time. Mm. Um, a lot for of the artists, best? Yeah, I yeah. think <laughs> artists have maybe more freedom now. And okay. um, because of the power of social media, um, you're, you're somewhat protected in that sense, as in like, if you're not happy about something, you can tell the world how, how you're feeling. Yeah. But yeah, it's still a long way to go, I think. <laughs> yeah. Some, something changed about how to uh, uh, create songs or how, you know, it's like how your uh, process, uh, creative process yeah. works, you know, something changed. For me? Uh, also, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, I definitely had to like train myself not to write little mix songs anymore. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> um, yeah. I spent, you know, like over a decade doing that. <laughs> so I had to take some time, which is, I guess, why I, why I did take so long with my solo music. I needed to evolve and um, better myself as a writer, really focus on, like, what do I want to write about? What, yeah. what have I gone through? What are my experiences? Um, so it was quite challenging, but I feel like I've come out now and, uh, with the sound that is me. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, by the way, you, you started out, you were like, what, 15? 14? Uh, I was j just gone 18, yeah. 18? 18, 18, yeah. Wow. So, like, all of my adult life has been. On spot, I mean, yeah. on video, on camera, on everything. Yeah, I guess. On stage. Yeah. <laughs> very, very scary. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this a collab you did with uh, Old Perry, who literally directed Harry Styles, you know? So yes. the video is it's crazy. Yeah, the video is just, it's so perfect. Like, I can't explain how um, happy I was with the video. It couldn't have been better. So, yeah, Old Perry, he did music for a sushi restaurant for uh -huh. Harry. Um, he's worked with Meg The Stallion um, and he's so good at being able to tell a story with his work in a way that feels um, unique and like it's sort of pushing the boundaries of what a pop star should yeah. show of themselves. Um, so I, I loved his style um, and yeah, it was super collaborative. He really understood the song and he was obsessed with the song, which uh -huh. I think helps. You want a director who genuinely sure. loves it. Sure. Um, so yeah, I think that's why the music turned out the way it did. And there's some uh, 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 Easter eggs along the video. A right? lot of Easter eggs. Yeah. We love an Easter egg. You're, yeah. you're, you're giving a lot of work for your uh, your fan base <laughs> to like to keep looking. You know, like yes. frame by frame. You know. I think that's been really special. Yeah, seeing the fans like dissect <laughs> the video and like, oh, what does this mean? And what does this mean? Um, I really wanted that that to happen because that's what I love like yeah. as a pop fan when I watch other artist visuals and I can pull it apart and be like oh this is so cool because that's a metaphor for this or whatever mm -hmm. um, so that's been really interesting because some of the theories from the fans I didn't even think of and then they say it and I'm like oh <laughs> cool idea <laughs> yeah maybe it was about that so yeah it's been cool uh, at, at least we can uh, uh, see by just like by watching the video I have I have like two characters main characters at least one's like uh, a humble girl you yeah. know it's like and that superstar girl yes really famous and whatever yeah do you how these two characters uh, uh, resonate with you with your life well I think they're both versions of, of myself like yeah. the more humble um I guess like normal Jade, uh -huh. you know, who remembers her roots and where she comes from and that she just loves music. Yeah. And then the other girl is like the superstar, superstar, you know, all the glitz and glam, the big wigs and, you know, she's made it now, but she's almost forgotten herself along the way. Yeah. So, yeah, it was important for me to show like what I see is different kinds of like female pop stars you love one of these girls more than the other one no i love them all it was <laughs> it was really fun playing the superstar jade just because yeah. it, it was so fun playing that character and being a big diva and what have you but the other jade like the redheads yeah the, the red wig jade that was cool because we did like prosthetics wow. uh when she was like all beat up and um 
I had to do like a routine uh, dressed as her. So that was really cool. And I, I love dancing. So Interesting. Yeah. Well, we've been like since we were 18, uh, living and in front of cameras, in front of everything. It seems that uh, um, you, you think that this, I mean, the audience asks ask so, so much about you, you know, mm. about how you should look and how you should sing or the next song. Yeah. Do you think that? Because this is what I get by watching the video, you know I mean? Yeah. This girl, this famous girl is really it's like crazy people are asking too much from yes her, yeah right? yeah i guess so she's she's a product of sort of being put on a pedestal yeah that's um, right. and then being kicked back down yeah um so yeah i think for me like as my first introduction as a as an artist on uh -huh. my own that was like the best way to do it was to tell my story yeah squash it all into one song so if this is the first one of course we are like waiting and craving for other songs I and know. Uh, an album maybe an ep i don't know yes yeah so uh, you're this is like writing new stuff recording yeah it. so i've i've pretty much finished my album uh -huh. um again I, I, it's I'll, finished yeah, already yeah pretty much oh <laughs> my god <laughs> yeah i wanted it to kind of just about be ready before i released music so that we could just drop songs as and when we want to or um yeah just have it ready to go when it felt yeah. right to to drop an album um but now i've released angel i'm already like oh i want to get back in the studio and just uh -huh. do more new stuff so i need to get this out so that i can keep going with more material and uh, what what vibe are you are you going for uh, in your solo music i mean uh, what we, we all we know is just angel of my dreams but, yes and the rest of the album you know the other tracks why you can tell us um there's definitely a lot more chaos yeah like hyper pop realness mm -hmm. but also i i did want this album to sound like i'm finding myself so it's quite experimental in terms of genre within the like pop space um Yeah, there's some that songs that I guess are like playing it more safe, but there's some that are a bit crazier. I wanted the fans to listen to it and like be part of that experience of yeah. discovering what what my sound is. And of course, we fans we want to know we're gonna uh, re release your tracks one by one. It's gonna have it's like I don't know a tour. I don't know. Uh, she knows. She yeah. knows. I've been, yeah, we kind of leaked a little <laughs> bit of one song that reacted really well. Yeah. Um, I want to keep them on their tours, and they've waited so long for music that I don't want to keep them waiting too long between each song. So the the idea and the, and the vibe is to just. Yeah, expect the unexpected. Yeah. Things might drop whenever I feel like it. Whenever she <laughs> feels like it. Okay. But yeah, but I'd love to tour. That's that's my favorite thing to do. I can't wait to get back on stage. Yeah. So, yeah. So do we. Uh, well, you, you said already about your finding your, your truth, uh, but this is what, uh, this is the main difference from the, um, the Jade from Little Max and now yeah. a solo Jade. Sorry, say that again. I yeah. wasn't listening. <laughs> no, okay. There's no problem. I was so thinking, this, of, uh, I was sorting my dress out and then I just, <laughs> my mind went, do, 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 do. <laughs> There's okay. no problem. Okay, so now because it told me that uh, finding your, your truth is, uh, is one of the main elements in this new yes. moment of your career. Uh, but is this the main thing about, I mean, the, the main difference from the Jade, from Little Mix yeah. and Jade now solo? Well, I think Little Mix had such a strong identity. Like uh -huh. everybody knew that that was like a sisterhood it was empowering you know the concepts were always kind of in the same world and you know because you are sharing the song with other girls it can't be too personal to yeah, you true um but i loved everything about little mix so you know it, i had to make sure that my identity was separate yeah. to that while still being obviously very proud to be from little yeah, mix sure. and i'm so grateful that we had such a long career and I got to be a part of that because, you know, now I get to come to Brazil and uh -huh. as a solo artist, you know, that might never have happened had I not been in yeah. Little Mix. So um, I'll always wear that badge of honor proudly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this is great. And is there any artist, album or song you're really vibing with right now that you're like, you're pulling as a, a reference for this new Ooh. album? Um, I really like Dorchi. Um, mm. At the minute, she's an incredible singer and rapper in the US. Okay. Um, but I have been, I've been brushing up on my Brazilian uh. <laughs> artists since I've been here. I love Pablo. 
Pablo Vitar? Yes, and oh. I, I'd love to work with, with them, yeah. Pablo Vitar, yes. please talk to us, talk to Jade. Yeah, we, we very nearly had a song <laughs> together with the group yeah. um, and it didn't work out. So it's like, you know, it has to happen when it's meant to. This is so great. This <laughs> is so great. Well, you uh, uh, teamed up before with Britney Spears for uh, Pretty Girls, which I love a while <laughs> back. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I really love Do you love it? I really love the song. It's, it's not a joke. I really love the song. <laughs> for real. I love the song, I love the video clip. I really oh, Listen, I love it, but um, it became quite notorious, I think. <laughs> but I know. I do, I do understand. But I, I really, for sure. And, you know, I was, I was a, a DJ for, for some, some years of my life, and yeah. I played a lot on, on, oh, really? yeah, on nightclubs. And people People used to dance a lot. Well, yeah, yeah, it go, it does go off in yeah. like a pop dance environment for sure. <laughs> for sure. But I, I mean, I'm to be honest, like uh. just even having a credit on a Britney song is like, yeah. I don't care if people like it or not because <laughs> I've, I've made it now. For sure. And, and, and how did this collab come about, come together? So it was a little mix song. Uh -huh. So I mean, the girls wrote it with um, Meg Gatoni, who we did like salute with move mm -hmm. so she was like an og little mix writer yeah um and then we realized that maybe as a girl band like singing about being pretty girls kind of wasn't the vibe mm -hmm. um so we like yeah we we was floating around anyways and it landed in the britney cam yeah. and that's kind of how it worked out i don't know if iggy azalea had it first i'm not sure but okay. um When we found that out, we were like, what? Like, what? We're going we're gonna to do that? Yeah, we're like, of course <laughs> she can have it, please. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was really special. And I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And me too. I love it. And me too. So. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> you've worked with uh, big names as, as like Jason Derulo, David Guetta, Nick Minaj. Uh, well, is there anyone you still want to collaborate with, singing oh, or writing? Uh, oh, there's so many. Um, I really love Tanache, mm. and we've we've been back and forth a lot, like over the years. Like send, okay. we've sent each other music before, and you know it, it's that thing where it's like if the time's right, it'll happen. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, who else do I love? Oh, there's just so many. Uh -huh. um, Ariana, obviously. Ariana, oh, um, we great our voices together. Yeah. The list's endless, really. I just love collaborating with other people. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. You mentioned um, Pablo Vittar in Brazil. Do you have any other name that comes to your mind? I mean, Anita, she's Anita. pretty fab. But, and then there was another girl I heard. Oh, I, I can't remember, is it Marina? Marina Senna, maybe? Senna, yes. Marina Senna. Marina Senna. Great voice also, yeah. yeah. And while looking back, uh, how do you feel about the X Factor and its impact in your career in life do you remember how um, the, the pressure and everything else um i think whatever we think of that show i mean it, i don't feel like it could happen now the way it did when we were on okay. there there were a lot of ups and downs uh -huh. but i will always always be grateful that i was given that platform and opportunity yeah. you know for that's why i kind of always resented when people in the industry were kind of you know be snobby about shows like that or kind of be like oh well you're not an incredible artist because you've come from a show like that and mm. we had we, it took us literally years to shrug that off but uh -huh. I just think like for me I was from a very small like working class town okay. in the north of England and I would literally never have had an opportunity to make it in the industry sure, yeah. had it not been for a show like that you know I wouldn't I couldn't afford to move to London or I would send demos like to labels but It was just, it would have been impossible to make it. So um, I think, yeah, um, I'm grateful to have been on The X Factor. It was like really, I mean, too too much pressure. I mean, for every performance. For could everyone. Could like sleep? Yeah, yeah it's sleep so, the, it's so um, intense, that yeah. show, because, you know, it's like, you're on it for like three months or something. And in that time you are, it's like a, an intense boot camp oh, into like, stardom okay, <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then afterwards it's like okay well that was the beginning my goodness now now you go and this it gets even harder from there sort of thing wow um so yeah but i i feel quite happy being from a cultural moment like that as well because now for example uh, yeah, yesterday i was watching the whole journey of of, of you girls yeah. there oh, and yeah. uh, from from the first audition to you know yeah. to winning a show and yeah. everything else 
But okay, I've watched this in like 25 minutes. But this was your life, so yeah. I just watch it as a movie, as a series, you know. But me the, too, but, though. Yeah, <laughs> I can't remember much of that no. time. It was so relentless. It was so full on. Is that so? Sometimes I do like you know fall into like a YouTube black hole and I watch yeah. like the journey of Little Mix and I get all emotional because <laughs> I'm like, oh wow, like. Oh. It, it was really, really was, strong, yeah. yeah. It was really crazy journey, and I look at like the young Jade who did all those auditions. And I'm like, oh my god, she had no idea what was to come. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and this yeah. is great. Yeah, and you know, uh, it doesn't sound weird for you to see that so many people are to, like getting to know you right now as a yeah. new artist yeah. because you were not, but <laughs> but, but because of uh, this release and a solo career, yeah. people are like, okay, Jade. I like it. <laughs> you know, I see TikToks, people being like, oh, who's this Jade girl? Like, uh -huh. love her new song. I think that's really exciting. I, I don't I don't mind either way if you know me from uh -huh. Little Mix or not. Like yeah. it's cool to be gaining new fans and it means the song is like traveling globally, which is great. Sure. And this uh, opportunity there in the um, X Factor, I do remember I make a note here because I just told you that you look like a, uh, a Disney princess. I don't know if oh, you remember that. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> which, which which Disney princess, princess would you like pick as your as well, the best one for you? Well, growing up, I used to always want to be Princess Jasmine because I'm of Arab heritage and okay. she was one of the few princesses I could look to and be like, oh, that kind of looks like me or I could maybe you know Perfect. be her so she was always my favorite as a little girl um but i do love moana moana she's an independent queen she doesn't need a man do you know what i mean yeah for sure she's one yeah. of the few that like yeah. she like goes in the ocean and like you know That's becomes it. a hero <laughs> and she's like obviously that guy's there but he's <laughs> that guy yeah there, he's but not it as is, important it is what it yeah is. and she's yeah. like i can do this on my own and there's no love interest in the first That's movie it. so I, I kind of rate that to be honest it's perfect perfect yeah. and if you could just like uh, produce the soundtrack of any oh. disney movie what Ooh. movie would have been um oh mm. what of any that i've been mm -hmm. my actual favorite musical score of any Disney movie is Pocahontas. Okay. It's so beautiful. It literally makes me cry. So I mean, I'm a big Disney fan. Yeah. So now and again, if it comes on shuffle and it's got that like, <laughs> I'm like, God. you know. This is great. Yeah. Oh, my straw. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'd love to do music for a, for a Disney movie. Absolutely. Yeah. Be okay. amazing. I'm ready when they are. And well, besides your music, uh, you're known for uh, your uh, activism, especially with the uh, LGBT plus community. Uh, how important it is, this is for you, you know? Oh, it's it's everything. Like, I'm so passionate about being an ally and like advocating for the community. Um, especially as an international artist, I think it's important. I think for any artist, to be honest, if you're in the pop industry, you know, me and the girls really benefited from an LGBTQ plus fan base. So the yeah. least you can do is show your support for them in any way you can. Um, but I guess it's just been an like organic Perfect. happening <laughs> over the years. I don't know, like, um, you know, it's the community that I, when I moved to London, that's what I was surrounded in anyways. Yeah. Um, but I'm always trying to like be a better ally and use my platform, you know, to raise awareness on any issues or, um, yeah, stand strong with that community. Yeah. Perfect. And what's next for for Jade? For us to, to finish, oh, what can we look forward to? What's next? Yeah. <laughs> well, of course, things that you can say because she knows everything. She's I already know. having a, a full album. <laughs> you know, she knows about the tour. She knows everything. She's, she's I actually not don't know about the, the tea here. You know? I don't know about the tour. I okay. wish I did. Okay. Um, but yeah, so you know, definitely more music coming. Yeah. Very. Oh, I can't say soon anymore because oh. the fans hate it. <laughs> what soon in in Brazilian Portuguese? Uh, logo, breve, em breve. Log em breve. Em breve. Em breve. Yeah, em breve. Yeah. yeah, it's coming soon. Yeah. Okay. Well, em breve. Em breve. Um, okay. is the answer to that. But yeah, okay. I got I fly back to the UK and I'm shooting three music videos. Okay. Back to back, so wow. there's a lot going on. Yeah. Perfect. That's all I'm saying. That's all. That's all. That's all for now. Okay. <laughs> so for us to finish, some uh, quick fire questions. Oh. Okay. Okay. So a dream for you to to achieve, you know. Um. To 
have a global hit. Easy for you with all your talent, your team and support. Oh, I like you. Of course. Thanks. A hobby that you do on a, on a daily that basis. I, that a new one. Yeah, a new one, yeah. yeah. Um, I'd like to, well, I think I am going to do that this week, but I would like to learn more like Brazilian dance. Oh. Like, okay. what's the style called? Funk. funk. Brazilian funk. I want to learn how Too to be better. Too much hips. Too much knee. Oh, really? Is it is it painful? Uh, for, for me, yeah. I'm I'm a 42 year old <laughs> guy, so so the hips aren't hipping like I, they used I to. I, I can't I can't do that anymore. Well, but good luck. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Something that you enjoy, but no one knows. I enjoy. Um, I enjoy watching. Like reaction videos on YouTube. Great. <laughs> yeah. Not just for me, but uh -huh. like if ever I watch a TV show, the next thing I do is go on YouTube Jeez. and like, someone dissects it all for me because sometimes there's a lot of taking, yeah. especially you know like the Game of Thrones episodes, like things like that that are very complicated. I'm like, I need someone to break it down for me. So there's this guy called oh something Ross. Is it even Ross on Rockstars? Anyways. It's the same for me. Yeah. I never know who is married to who. Yeah. You know, this one they never know. So I probably spend just as much time <laughs> watching reaction videos or breakdowns as I do watching whatever show I watch. Okay. That was a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> How, uh, who mostly inspires you? Myself. <laughs> Great. That just came out and that sounded so eager. To no, though, it's okay. I mean, no, I mean, me. yeah, your, your own ideas, you know, your yeah, own. Yeah, no, like, I mean, like my younger self, she inspires me every day. Okay. Whenever I'm like anxious or if I'm feeling like low, um, I think of like my younger self and how happy and like proud she'd be of what, what I've become. So that inspires me every day. Okay. Yes. Last thing you bought for yourself. Um, last thing I... Well, I guess breakfast this morning, and I ordered literally a bowl full of those cheese. Uh, um, pão de queijo. Pão de queijo. Just like cheese balls. Like no, because no? I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm okay. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah, like they brought me a full bowl full this morning. And you don't have those in your cake bag, okay, right? Well, they do because last time I came to Brazil, I was uh. I was obsessed. Uh -huh. So I I literally looked for us somewhere that stocked them, <laughs> did okay. them, found it, and for like weeks and weeks after, I was going to this stall every day, being like, "Please, sir, can I have some more?" <laughs> so um, yeah, um, and then the fans actually bought me a necklace with one of them on. On uh -huh. the pendant, so I've got oh. an I've got a necklace of it too. No way. Yeah, yeah. That's how much I ride or die for those things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so pound your casual. Yes. Okay, Jade, we're looking forward to have you here back on Radio Disney. Oh, thank to you. To listen to more, you know, it's like new releases. Yes. And this uh, please feel like uh, is your second home. Oh, I'll thank come back you. Always. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back. Thank okay, you so thanks much. a lot. Eu sou o Fernando Prado e a gente finaliza então nossa conversa às Rádio Disney. Te vejo no próximo. Bye. Tchau.